Okay, team, we're back. Now you'll notice when we left last time, it was uh, the end of the day at day 160, and we already had 15 heads. I saved over the, the main save file, though, with my offline experimentation here on day 22. But luckily, the day 160 autosave saved us. So we just need to replay the first morning, really, of the fight. Ah, here it is. Gotta do this fight over again. Whoopsie. Ow. So, in the last episode, we did a bunch of discussions about whether we're gonna push on with this campaign or start again with another one. And I think I wanna keep going with this one. I've become quite fond of Dovkul's Chosen. We're a very flawed group. We're not... Uh, we're not as good as we can be by any stretch of the imagination. So, here's my feelings about this. Let's keep going with this campaign. But... But, but, but... It's clear to me that even though we want to get a group of entirely um, cultists, that's going to be challenging for a variety of reasons. Primarily, it's the fact that the cultists aren't particularly good fighters. You know, they don't have good stats. And so I want Camp Campana to go here and use his ammo. That leaves him open to two shots here, so that's actually no good. I'll tell you what. Do it like a cheeky normal stab. Just to keep your shield up. Kata, you've got a sword. As I was saying, let's keep going with this campaign. <laughs> However, we were op we've been operating under a few like rules, if you will. The rules being, we only hire someone if they are actually a, um, a cultist. The problem with that is, obviously, <laughs> cultists are not great, so we're running into late game problems with our here with our, our soldiers they're not actually that viable of no consequence doesn't have quick hands for fuck's sakes so we've already got six or i think it's six or is it seven i think it's seven cultists now i want to keep going with this but at the same time i also want decent fighters so let's compromise we will hire our classes that can be decent i'm thinking uh, God, who I shoot at here? Mother We definitely want better archers. I mean, as fond as I am of Jib, with only 74 range skill at level 8, that's no good. I mean, we'll still keep him, but we can keep him as like a reserve or backup archer. Let's hire some hunters, try to get some proper ranged fighters in, and then we can, we can keep Jungian, but I want to hire two archers, so, and then also I'm going to change the setup here. We'll retire our two Huskals, and then we will get a Sergeant and a Bannerman. So the, the five backline will be Bannerman, Bowman, Crossbowman, Bowman, Sergeant. The Sergeant and the Bannerman will both have raised morale. Uh, and hopefully they'll both be able to use that skill. <coughs> That's going to help us with the issues we've been having where... Ow, oh, fuck, you see? God, I crossbows are nasty. It's the armor penetration that is so bad with these crossbows. The sky worries me. Please don't shoot, Melon. <laughs> so, we're going to start hiring proper uh, soldier classes, and we're just going to have to trust in the fact that eventually they'll get converted, because hiring just cultists means that the person who is a cultist isn't really viable in the long run, and that's going <coughs> to cause us issues. I mean, from everything I've seen, it's going to take a few hundred days of play to get everybody uh, to be cultists anyway, so it's going to be that bad for us. Good shot, Jeb. You see, if this if this was a bowman with a war bow, I could have shot twice and probably killed this guy. Okay, Campana, do your thing. Which of these nerds have a better chance to hit? 50... I'll tell you what, wait, and then... Let Devgen break that shield. Like so. Ah! Oh, 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 nicely done. No quick hands there, of course. Ah! Yes, Padden. 
How much does shield break, dude? 26 damage to shields. Don't worry about Melon. He's can't take much more damage. Also, this this hammer is likely to kill him with, if, if two of them hit. It's a real issue. Pie, is it worth going to your flail? I don't think it is, actually. You know what? You've got quick hands. Fuck it. Orc flail them. <laughs> yes! <laughs> what I'm talking about! I think we go... Yeah, we go... Jazz feet. Ah, oh, doesn't have the fatigue. God damn it. E5. God damn it, Kryta. Nice, good hit. I might as well not switch out my weapon because, I mean, this Raiding Lord is only going to hit Melon anyway. I mean, if it hits Guts, that's actually what I prefer. I just don't want Melon getting attacked here. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Campana with the double kill. Miss, thank God. Ow. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a hit. Oh, Jesus. Fucking crossbows. Jeb. Ah. Good work, mate. Give these nerds the old run at. Oh. Uh. Well, I expect those to hit. And is it going to be worth daggering this guy down? I think so. It's actually probably the best way to kill him quickly. There you go. Nice. Fleeing. Oh, ruining his armor. Shit. Don't do that. Don't do that. Cheeky stabs. Oh, I love that sound. Bunk. Yeah, off you go, bitch. You better run. Good, we're safe. <laughs> hey lads, give them the old surround. <laughs> okay boys, before he gets away. Got him. Almost. I'm not going to bother chasing those other nerds. I mean, I would like to have gotten my hands on their heads, but this was actually more difficult than I realized. I don't want to damage his helmet, so just <coughs> daggers. Oh, one more. Here we go. The other thing is, like, Padden, who was our dagger specialist, he's been bloody great for the majority of the campaign, but now, when all my frontline guys are using two-handed weapons, I feel like he doesn't do enough damage often enough. I mean, three of those dagger pokes are great, but I just can't help... I can't shake the feeling that I would rather have him be a two-handed weapon user. And overall, I regret building him as a dagger specialist. I mean, with his star distributions, he would have actually made a hell of a good raider. Nice level up for Campano. Right, what final perk do we take? I think we go for Fearsome. The other temptation is either Steel Brow or Holdout. Holdout's really good. Any injuries only take effect after combat ends. 
Hmm. No morale check triggered for this character when nearby allies panic and flee. That's actually really, really good. Recover is amazing. But, but always, as always, my issue with recovery is you have to spend an entire turn doing nothing. Let me go for holdout. I mean, it helps you to stop uh, freaking out when your allies freak out, and it, it doesn't mean you suffer the, the, the debuffs. So let's say, for example, he's busy fighting, he's got full hit points, takes a dagger stab and gets, you know, like, I don't know, pierced lungs or something. He doesn't lose that. I think that's going to be my defensive skill of choice here. That fearsome is so good. Although, when he's hitting with a Warhammer, how much pierces armor? 0 to 55 can ignore armor, so... You have to do at least 15 hit points of armor, 15 uh, hit point damage through armor, trigger the morale check. 15 is like 30% of 55, so 60% of the time he's triggering a morale check. So I don't think Fearsome is that worth it. I reckon let's go for holdout. The lads need some rest here, that's for sure. That's terrible. Honestly, I think we just fire him. Umbert, you suck. Nearest temple is there. Oh, God. I mean, I would love to hire him, but mm, money-wise, Otto could be a good hire. But I think let's just save up our cash until we have about 5,000 again. We are going to need some time for these uh, treatments to take effect. So what are we in the market for? Uh, Devgin, are we going to keep... Tower eventually will phase out and Patton will become B team. So we're in the we're in the in the market for a sergeant and a banner boy and a and two archers. We're gonna buy multiple hunters. I mean if he's no good, let's give him a try. So he's a thousand gold. Okay, nice. Range defense is beautiful. No stars in range skill though, but he is iron lunged, which is freaking great. If only he had stars in resolve, I might have just I might have made him a uh, sergeant. Hmm. I don't think his his range skill is going to be all that good. See, like ninety two is amazing. I think he'll still get up to like eighty or ninety, and the fact that he's iron lunged is enough for me to want to use him as an archer. Decent fatigue to start with. If it wasn't for the iron lungs, I wouldn't use him, but I reckon we'll hang on to him as an archer. Yeah, so the new setup is going to look something like this. Uh, note to self, we need to hang on to a war bow at some point. So you need a shield in case you get closed in on in melee range. Hmm. Okay. Let's see, do we have enough tools to repair? We do. Like I could hire Otto, but he's not gonna have mm, the plus resolve I want. I want any of the... Uh, classes that have plus resolve and what do we not need here we don't need that we'll hang on to all of this we need far too many boar spears one two three four five six seven that's fine that's junk 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 six one two three four right we need seven of these only actually less okay by default we should be using round shields 
on all of you guys. Yeah, so these are all spares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need to sell four of them. We'll hang on to three, four, five, six, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, that's one of these. So that can go. And junk, 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 and junk. Have we already patrolled to Elslev? I don't know. I'm scared I go there now and end the, end the patrol. See, I haven't, the last time I actually played uh, on the back of this was like a week and a half ago, so I don't remember. I think to be safe, let's not actually go into Elslev. Let's just camp here. At least until the morning. See what the hit point situation looks like. In fact, I can take this time to update the stream title. How are we doing for hit points? Almost full, almost full. One of us got badly fucked up. It was Melon. He'll need like another half a day to get healed. Interesting, so when you camp it instantly goes to, to double speed. Hmm. Good. We're all ready. Uh, do I have the loadout that I want? Actually, Pi. I might switch you out for Devgin. Get that extra sword rider in there. I mean, one of these guys eventually is going to have to get fired. I don't know if it's Guts. No, I want to keep all of these frontline lads. We don't need any more frontline guys, that's for sure. Maybe this is the play, like we have flails on this on the flanks, and then you have of no con of no consequence here in the in the middle of the pack. No, but he's got lone wolf. Do a quick bandage check. We've got some ruins to clean out. Although, hang on, we've got a level 1 here, we've got Alfred, but it's the nearest training hall. See if we can't maybe train him up and he'll get the most uh, benefit out of the out of this campaign here. Training hall there, that's a bit far away. Ah, uh, bugger, not yet. Let's go check out Cryptovogmar. Make sure we hit it before it gets dark. Have we missed it? I think we've missed it. Damn. Now it's dusk actually, it's still, it's still daytime. So what is it worst case scenario gonna be? Cryptovogmar. It's gonna be undead, we know that. So that does mean that I think we want spears and heaters. Which hurts the fatigue though. Maybe swords and heaters. Let's equip shields on everyone and then just take a look at what the fatigue numbers actually look like. So 74, that's okay, but mm, 56, 70. I think we go swords and heaters. Really, the swords are just there in case we get stuck into like a, a really, you know, hard fought, hand to hand type of situation. High with his flail, 85 fatigue, that's fine, you can hang on to that. Tim, your sword. And Pano. That kind of sucks. All right, fine. We've got loads of archers, so whatever it is we're going to be fighting, should be able to take him out quite quickly and easily. Devkin's actually a sword raider. Maybe I give him that and put him in the front line. This is not our typical loadout, but I think this is going to be totally, totally fine. It's not dark yet. Go, get up. 
So I'm expecting ghosts, necromancers, and zombies. <gasps> Sound of a zombie. Hang on one sec. Sorry, guys. Let me just update the stream title here. English. I need 20 of them. What is it, though? Uh, I think I'm not going to decide what I want to do tactically until I can see what we're up against. So let's just... Hmm. Actually, you know what? Move off this height advantage for sure. We'll set up on this line here and here. I think whatever it is we're facing, we're going to want to be away from this shit that wasn't right. Okay, maybe I'll leave... Who is that? Uh, I think that's Guts. We'll put him over there so he can still swing in a big circle. If you put someone here, you can cover there in a big circle. That's Guts with a... Yeah, flail. Pi also has a big flail you can swing in a circle. I've made a total pig's ear of this. Yeah, let's keep moving up. <laughs> if only I had a fireball, it would be amazing. Standard armored Vidigangus so far. Not that scary. Just what concerns me is we only have one sergeant and it's... Uh, okay, Necromancer, fine. As long as there's no ghosts. Mm, okay, that means tactically we haven't done the right thing. We need to move forward so we can get in range of the Necromancer. Okay, there he is. Okay, damn. Even if I put my crossbowmen here... Yeah, the crossbowmen are going to need to shoot six tiles. He's there, so one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to have to be over here to shoot him with a crossbow. Damn. This is going to take some offensive maneuvers, I reckon. I, I can't give up height advantage there. I tell you what, Guts will run along here, and then Alfred and Jeb will come along the high ground here, see what we can do. Kaito. Keep your shield out. I'm just conscious that he could be possessed and become quite a problem in a second. There's a nasty fallen hero there, but I think between Pi and of no consequence, we'll make short work of him. As I stay here, I can swing this big old axe in a big circle. I don't know if from here is going to be close enough to be able to shoot that necromo uh, the necromancer. This could be a little challenging. I might have to do like a little flanking maneuver here. Oh, that's a little scary. I like think all, all of my archers need to come here. If I can get my archers set up here, we should be able to pepper him with arrows. That means my quest that I want to do is I want to get Guts here so he can hold these zombies off. There's a fucking Geist, goddammit. Now we've got two real issues here. Is it worth shooting at the Fallen Hero? No, that Necromancer is the priority 100%. You sneak up on the high ground there, Tim. I prefer Campana with his hammer, taking in that big, uh, big arc. I think I'm going to try to get Tim around the side here. Although, we need more than just three guys here. Back off, no consequence should fall back. Yeah, and then it's Tim's job to get into contact with that ghast. 
So between his sword and his dog, we should be able to account for that ghast. <coughs> but on this side of the battlefield, we've still got problems. Okay, close. We're getting there. Devgen. Got a big old sword. I feel like I use footwork here. To set up a bulkhead that my archers can shoot from. Obviously, in the meantime, we'll kill whatever we can here. Hmm. It's the lack of the raise morale ability that's going to be a real challenge here. Be very careful with my movements. I want to. I really want to make sure I can get Tim into contact with that ghost. It's going to be vital. God, that's scary. Oh shit! If he possesses that fallen hero, we got problems. Yeah, today it's only Battle Brothers. Yep. Yeah. I could take some shots at these fallen heroes here, but no, I need to get my arch my all my archers into range of that necromancer. <laughs> Actually that probably wasn't the right move to get the shield out against him. Oh, there's the third ghast, fuck's sake. Two, there's the third one. Okay, there he is. Shit! I thought I was going to be XCOM, yeah, I'm sorry dude, but I've already got uh, five days worth of, worth of XCOM recorded ahead, and I'm out of Battle Brothers material, so apologies if you're expecting XCOM. Uh, I'm loving XCOM and I want to play it as well. I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll do a couple hours of Battle Brothers and we'll do a couple hours of XCOM. I've recorded half an hour here of Battle Brothers. We'll do another 15 minutes in this episode and then 45 minutes after that. And then we'll do XCOM after that. Hey man, if you want to watch uh, XCOM, I get it. Oh, is he almost in range? Okay, at least in the next turn we can start peppering this necromancer. So as scary as this is, oh, shouldn't be too many more turns of having to put up with it. I'm loving XCOM. It's so, so, so good. Here's the problem. Of no consequence, we're going to start fleeing in the next turn because these pieces of shit always get to attack first. Good hit, Melon. I wonder, do I take this 45% hit, do the damage, or do I just split shield? Just to... I think we don't split shield because we've got a big, uh, big flail. All right, Kempon, I need you to do work here, bud. Exactly what I'm talking about. And I think I'm going to release this dog. I hope the dog is smart enough to go for the ghast. It's not. Guts, what's your weapon? Flail. Oh shit, that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh you shit, I forgot to do the old V, v maneuver, pinching maneuver. So you've got 15 fatigue, is it going to cost any fatigue to switch weapons? Equip item zero AP. But does it cost any fatigue? Because if it costs fatigue, which it doesn't. Yeah, so I don't get to swing in a big circle. Oh, 
Rip that dog. Yeah, uh, wolf! Give Wolf a Scooby snack. He's earned it. Okay, and actually, so, all right, this is going to be the new tactic. We're going to buy a lot of dogs. We'll be fighting against these geists. And look at this. Patton doesn't even actually have uh, ready the troops. If you remember, our sergeant got killed. This is a problem. I'm scared. Oh, great dodging of no consequence. Fighting for his life, he is. Tim, get him. Good lad. So we've got loads of money. I think we go to that kennel and we just buy all the dogs we can. And then in a fight like this, all seven of the front guys just drop a dog. I mean, it's going to be expensive, but in these type of fights, just having another body on the... Uh, on the map that the enemy could be attacking rather than our our soldiers is i think worth it it's expensive but how expensive is it really if you consider that the alternative is getting getting killed i didn't bother putting of no consequence in contact with this uh, geist because he's already wavering anyway so he'll just get screamed at oh fuck sakes melon Get him, guts. Good hit. Rip. There we go. Yeah, morale starts getting shattered. out of cover still we can't hit him though archers are shit you again headshot kill oh almost jab you legend okay now the, the guys are the number one problem there's still two fallen heroes with these gigantic axes. It's fucking scary. If our guys are start fleeing when getting hit by those weapons, that's pretty much worst case scenario. <sighs> Pie of 12. Legend. Yeah, one more guys to deal with. Shit of my consequence. Good dodging, mate. Don't you have twinkle toes, Krytar? No, you don't. It almost seems like a waste killing that zombie with all that AP. Tell you what, if you mark these two, yeah, you can stop them from getting into contact with of no consequence. And you've got your shield out. Yes, we should get real though. Fuck. Campane is such a fucking beast. Five percent, is that even worth it? I don't, I don't think it is. I think if I use my archers to try to free up these guys, they can then charge at the geist. Probably a better play. At least these weapons aren't too bad. The Devgen should be fine there. Let's keep shields up. Oh, that's so scary. Oh, stunned him. Okay, that wasn't actually necessary. Can you knock him back? You certainly can. Good man, Pi. 
Melon, can you sneak a Reno onto that Geist? I think you can. <gasps> Fuck me, that's scary. <laughs> the Warhammer men are coming for you, Geist. At least it's only an archer who's not actually in melee contact with anyone, so that's not so bad. Yes, Alfred, welcome. Welcome to the team. In your first battle, you're doing just fine. Actually, he's stunned, so you can move. Can you quick hands a cruel falchion? Scots. Okay, we've still got some issues here. I'm just gonna maintain shields while I'm fighting this guy. His damage is so high. Kratol, you can get your sword out. Swing in a big circle. Good lad. Now, this is scary because he's got height advantage here, so I reckon we move up to yeah, level ground here, just see what he does. Bad, good lad. Good, so all the lads are fleeing or not in contact with anyone. Jeb! Good bravery, Jeb. Shooting Jeb. Oh, so close! Oh, lads. Good. Ooh, I should pick up his weapon before he... Oh, God, before he gets raised from the dead. Nice, good. Now he'll only have that little sword when he gets raised up, which is obviously not as bad. This lad is not a problem, though. <laughs> Work pattern. Oh, close. in two turns so rather than just attacking with my sword I'm gonna wait for him to attack then I'll switch to my two-handed weapon let's keep everyone with shields out here oh come on Kratos is this the final nerd we're fighting I believe it is nice and he's stunned No one died. We took a bit of hit point and armor damage there, but ooh, hello. Sir Harold's Barrier. A relic heater shield covered in icon iconographic images. It seemed to be old, but yet durable and well to handle. It seemed to be old, but yet durable and well to handle. Mm. Sweet. So let's take a look at his shield. Plus 20 melee, plus 21 ranged, but for 16 fatigues. How does that compare to... 15 and 25 20 and 20. i think that's pretty damn good i like that yeah quality english that we need three more heads so i think we continue patrolling and if we run into something small on the way there we can uh, take it out devgin hits level nine. Oh god 65 at level nine. Oh, cultist i'm starting to think that yeah. 
we we're really gonna have to in the long term just depend on the conversions to get everybody to be cultists because my god 70 at level 9 oh it's so bad his fatigue isn't great either uh berserk or killing frenzy i think berserk guts is level 10 lone wolf battle forge doesn't have a huge amount of fatigue but i still reckon berserk is the way to go plus three nice 80 accuracy this is what i'm talking about if only it wasn't for his missing finger and that's going to help a lot with fatigue. Plus one there doesn't seem all that worth it. You know what, Devgin, you've earned some time off. Why don't you chill? You are hurting and your armor is fucked up. I love that I can just swap out armor without having to repair it. What's the helmet situation here? Yeah, it's okay, it's alright. I think we can go back to daggers though. Not you, Pa. You've got loads of fatigue. Quite encouraging. Oh. I did say you've got loads of fatigue. T6. Great. 83. I think Campana can wear it. Campana's one of our best, and he's got pretty decent fatigue. Yeah, 75 is, is okay. I need more dogs though. Right, let's get paid. Take a rest at the base of an enormous tree. Somehow, the sun manages to sear a path through the forest canopy and blind your eyes. Getting up to move. You run into Tower 24, the wild man. He's offering you a handful of various questionables. The mushrooms, flower petals, berries. With a grunt, he ushers them towards your face. Well, we're going to have to eat them. Surprisingly, the bits of forest food... Oh, you just get all, get all high and shit. I think that happens. I've done that a couple times and I've gotten that result a few times. The other one is you get sick. So I think if you're smart, you should probably just say no to that all the time. There doesn't seem to be any real tangible positive benefit to it. Vagabond, no punishment, no. Killer on the run has plus resolve, but I'm not crazy about that background. He has an increased chance to hit the head, but I don't like having to defend him against uh, people that want to come take him away. That's a good price, I'll sell that. We don't need both of these great axes, that's for sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't need the mace anymore. I don't, I don't think I have a mace master anymore. Oh, a mace specialist actually died. Food, we could do with some more food, but eh. I still also want to keep buying scale mail as we keep going along. But right now we're going to split our funds between buying scale mail and recruiting. We are in the market for a replacement archer for Jeb. And we're in the market for a sergeant and a uh, banner bearer. A banner boy. I want you to have. I think I want you to have shield, sword. Still break shields and get involved in the front line if you have to. 
Onwards. March. Nice payday out of this. Three and a half thousand gold. Yeah, excellent. Oh, okay. Well, at least we can get straight back into work. Still no one different. Oh, actually, a Grave Digger we can hire because he'll have extra resolve. And he's one of the classes that could be a good candidate for a Sergeant or a Banner Boy. Disloyal is good. Gluttonous, I don't mind. The two stars in Melee Skill is great, but the lack of any stars in resolve means he's ultimately not going to be... Uh, what we're looking for. We don't need any more frontline guys, so sorry, Gerald. Thanks for trying. What do you have for us work wise? Northwest, group of greenskins. Fine. Two and a half thousand? You gotta pass more than that. Excellent. This could be quite a tough one, so I'll try to make sure we are fully repaired and fully armored. We'll be doing spears and shields. And I think we're gonna have to leave Alfred behind because if there are orc warriors there. We're going to need only archers that actually have the Twinkle Toes ability to be able to get away from the, the warriors. Anyway, let's take a little break.